She's the crafty lass with a brain for business and is, of course, one of our favourite former Strictly stars. But in her new role on BBC Two's Ultimate Wedding Planner alongside First Dates, Fred, she is the one doing the judging. We asked at least half a dozen times, yeah. what time's this, what time's that? It was less than 24 hours from the bride and groom arriving and there were far too many questions that we asked that we just saw blank faces. Guests are now arriving thick and fast, including judges Sarah and Fred. Yesterday just felt a little bit chaotic to me and today I really need to see those planners be organised between them to pull off what I know can be an absolutely outstanding wedding. Oh, here to tell us more, it's Sarah Davies. <laughs> oh, nice to see you all. Yeah, oh, I mean, I love a wedding anyway. I well, love a wedding. Well, this show is going to be right up your street. Yeah. Really? I tell you what, they are, they are the best weddings ever. Really? With a load of drama built into it. <laughs> so like... explain, it's a competition, isn't it, basically? Yes, so I think the best way I can describe it is if you think about, like, The Apprentice, mm -hmm. in that you've got all these contestants and every week you're competing who's going to be the best yeah. and who's going to go home. Yeah. But then it's a little bit bake off in its style. Oh. I like to think I'm like the Mary Berry. Like the really <laughs> fair girl. So we're, like, we're coaching and mentoring them because you've got these brilliant mm. fledgling wedding planners who are building their skills up every week and taking on bigger and bigger challenges but they've only got £10,000 in three days to supersize a wedding so wow. they're not planning it from scratch what happens is every episode you come in on the Monday and you meet our wonderful couple and they tell you all about their wedding that's happening this Saturday and it's already booked, planned, paid for, could have been in the makings for years, but our planners have that £10,000 in three days to take it from being an ordinary wedding to, to like, level. a phenomenal wow. next wedding level. In three days? In three days. That, that, honestly, that is, that is what's pressure. so exciting. So if they paid for the wedding, then you're adding £10,000 yes. to it. So Super would it be thinking they've run out of money sometime or something they've booked in has failed and... So, let me take, like... Tomorrow night, yeah. Lewis and Sammy, oh, my word, the most adorable couple you could ever meet, right? Yeah. And their wedding, it's, they ran out of a budget. They are really into plane spotting. Right. So what they've done is they've spent their budget on getting married in an aircraft hangar under Concorde. Uh. That's where you saw it, in the Concorde. <laughs> so they've blown all their budget on that, so they had no budget left. She dreamed as a little girl of, like, having a floral wonderland and they wanted to make the space feel intimate, but they just couldn't make all of that happen. And our planners go to town building wow. this incredible floral wonder. They end up working through the night, tensions are running high. Are they going to pull it? Well, you can see there, oh, sounds great. Fred and I, 24 hours to go, how are they going to pull this off? And then what they pull off is nothing short of a miracle every week. It sounds like some of the people who are getting married need your mentorship when it comes to budgeting. You know, what an amazing concept, but you, because you've got that boss energy, what does it feel like <laughs> judging this part of it? Judy, you'll get this, right? Yeah. Because we'd done Strictly the year before, yeah. I feel like I had this other appreciation for what the planners were going through. Mm. Because I can remember being on that dance floor, nervous as anything, but then you come for the critique of yeah. the judges. And mm. they're not just there to say, mm, that wasn't very good. They're trying to give you advice yeah. and support so that if you make it through next week, you'll get better. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I reflected back on our time and thought, what is, how is it that they made me feel mm. and how can I channel that with the planners? And I thought about how Shirley and Anton would be in particular and Motsi and... Notice I haven't mentioned Craig. <laughs> and, and how brilliant they would be in their feedback. And I thought, yes, I, I used to come away every week and think that was really fair and I'm going to take that feedback on board and I would come back better the next week. And that's what our planners did. So empower I'm them. fascinated by the whole idea of wedding planners. Like, I've yep. been married four times and I've never <laughs> had a wedding planner. <laughs> oh, this is where you're going wrong, Janet. <laughs> well, I don't know. Do you think having a wedding planner makes it last longer? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Well, we, could, we, could, we could pull our planners and ask. So, <laughs> the other thing is, having planned all my own weddings in my hand-fisted way and done all the catering and all of them... Yep. These people that are playing, have they started off with big budgets or little budgets that you're adding the 10 grand to? Most of the time, small budgets. Yeah, I, I because think... the cost of a wedding, sorry to interrupt you, but the cost of weddings have gone up and up and yeah. up, mm. haven't they? And what's lovely is, you, over the course of the series, you see such variations. So, for example, this first wedding's in an aircraft hangar. The next week, the couple want to get married at home on a farm 
with their 93 animals taking part in the <laughs> wedding, right? <laughs> we have another That's one that thing. happened on a campsite. And then we also have a That's beautiful great. big wedding, you know, where they've had a slightly bigger budget. So you get to see a little bit of, of yeah, everything. Yeah. And, and you pick up ideas that you could do... You can take the ideas from our planners and apply them, whether it's to a wedding or mm. to a party. Oh, I, I didn't think you could do that yeah. on that sort of budget. And, and how is it working with Fred? I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. How is it? And, me and Fred get on like a house on fire, but we see the world through di very different lenses. Uh, What's his lens? OK, so, <laughs> so quite often... There he is. <laughs> <laughs> so quite often, he would be very overly critical of a lot of the stuff that uh, my guys, my, my planners, had crafted. Yeah. And I'm like, Fred, you've got no idea of the hours and hours of work that have gone into that. And yeah. actually, that's incredible. Mm. And, I, and I think, well, I wouldn't tell you how to build a champagne tower, Fred. So you, <laughs> <laughs> you don't tell me how my planners are crafting. So sometimes we, we quite often didn't see eye to eye. But I think that just makes it better because mm. we have very different opinions. Mm. And then Raj, who's the third judge, mm -hmm. is like this wedding planner extraordinaire that I was learning from every week, that our planners just hailed up there as, like, the god of wedding planning who was there screaming at them every week, come on, guys, get back, no, you're not on this, you're not on that. And, I, I mean, he, he wasn't grey when we started the show. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you first got that phone call to do this show, like, what, what, what was your first initial thought? Like, weddings, is this me? Because you are a craft queen. You, you do amazing things, just a lot of your business is around that. You've done amazing tours, but to actually say, now we want you to judge something that's much more creative, how did you feel? So when they first got in touch with you, the BBC, they didn't explain that... It, I was judging the crafting. They just right. said weddings, and I said, I mean, I, lo I, I love weddings, but it's not really my thing. And, and I'm in the privileged position where I, I do TV. It's like a hobby for me. It's, mm -hmm. it's, not my, it's not my job. You know, my job's running my business, so anything I do for TV, I do it because I enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that's a lot of time to give up going to all those weddings. I'm not sure it's me. Then when they explained that I was going to judge the crafting side, I was like, I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> and now, how quick can you get me there? <laughs> and it was everything I hoped Has and the more. the crafting involved the, the bride's dress? Um, it did once. Oh. We had a little bit of a disaster seconds, and I mean oh, seconds, no. before no. she was due. You can't tell her that's tell a lot. Can you oh, no. Second, and our amazing planners, to the rescue, sorted it all out. Were you, a, were you a very different person on this compared to how you are on Dragon's Death? Yeah. Yeah, I think when you see it, you'll think, oh, yeah, that's the siren yeah. that we all know, but you just see a bit of a different side to me. And I think that's what... On Dragons, you only ever see business me, even if it's business me with a lot of heart. This is... You get to see a, a, more of what I do, more of the crafting side. I just... I, honestly, I... I say, watch it. Mm. I think you'll watch it and you'll fall, you'll fall will, in love I'll with our obsessed. planners. But you'll this, fall in love with the couple. And what about... This is you is amazing, though, when you're on Dragon's Day. Yeah. Like, what does it feel being in that position and looking at ideas, especially that you have business, to help them push forward, think whether it's good or not? Do you know, it, it's a lot of pressure. Because it, a little bit different to, like, The Apprentice, where you see they're just judging them. We weren't just judging them. If I go back to the Bake Off, Mary Berry, she used to coach and mentor them and give them advice and hints and tips and... That's what I was there to do in the crafting capacity, mm. help them get better and also help them get better with their budgeting and their business mm. skills so that the end result planners were planners who could pull off a world-class wedding. Mm. And they do when you see it. You see the journey these planners go on and how they start off great but they end up phenomenal. Mm. That's what, to me, the show was all about, making these awesome wedding planners business people. Yeah, it must be so... Um, what's the word? You must be so... Proud of them yes. at the end. You it's did, a dragon's you den in you. You can't take it away. Oh, no. like, well, you, want, you want to see them... Judy when I'm looking at the budget and I'm like, oh, <laughs> you're not in budget, well, sorry, guys. Sorry, the it's ultimate fine. wedding sorry. planner airs tomorrow, Tuesday, um, at 9 pm on BBC Two. I cannot wait. Sorry, yeah. David. <laughs> <laughs>